Hi, welcome to the second video in my series on matrices. Now in the first video I introduced you to what a matrix was. It was an array of numbers which represented some form of data. And what I want to show you in this video is how we can add together matrices, subtract matrices from one another, and also multiply a matrix by a scalar. So we'll start off first of all with this first example here, where I've got to work out what A plus B is. So if we just write down our intro A plus B equals, we've got A, which is the matrix 3, 4, 1, 2. And we are adding this to the matrix B, which is 2, 5, 6, 1. Now, when we're adding matrices together, we can only add matrices which are the same size, the same dimension. In other words, the dimension of this matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix, as I explained in my first video. Two rows, two columns. And we're adding it again to another two rows by two column matrix. So they've got the same dimensions. And the result is a matrix also with the same dimensions, a 2 by 2. And what happens is we just add element with element. So in other words, we've got 3 added to the 2 here gives us 5. And then 4 plus 5 gives us the 9. 1 plus 6 is 7. And 2 plus the 1 is 3. Our 2 by 2 matrix. Now it's pretty obvious why we do this, but I'm just going to step back and give you an example. Suppose we had two countries, say X and Y, and they were given so many golds and so many silvers. We'll have a G for gold and S for silver on a particular day in the Olympics. And then we've got another matrix here giving us the golds and silvers one on another day for the same two countries. So by adding together the three and the two, for instance, it's telling us that country X got five golds over these two days. And we can fill in the outer values here. So hopefully you can see that this is why we would add two matrices in the way we do. Okay, let's just now go and try example two. Now in example two, we've got multiplication by a scalar. We've got to do two times the matrix A. So we put the two there and then we've got the matrix A, which is three, four, one, two. And if you're doubling a matrix, you're basically adding it twice over. So if we were to add this matrix twice over, we would end up with 6, 8, 2, 4. So all we do is just simply multiply the scalar with each of the elements in the matrix. So we get then 6, 8, 2, 4 for 2A. Now, I've shown you how we can do addition, but subtraction is just exactly the same. Obviously, just subtract element with element. So in example 3, I've got an example here where we've got to do three times the matrix C minus the matrix D. So you might like to pause the video and have a go at this one just for a bit of practice. OK, let's see how you got on. Well, I'm going to show the working first of all. I'm going to write down that we've got three times the matrix C. Matrix C is 1, 3, 4 and 2, 1, 5. And then we subtract the matrix D, which is 0, 4, minus 1, 3, 2, minus 5. So if we work out what 3C is, first of all, we do three times each of these elements. And that's going to give us 3, 9, and 12 on the top row, and then 6, 3, and 15 on the bottom row. A matrix with dimensions 2 by 3. And we are subtracting again a 2 by 3 matrix. So it's possible to do this. Now if we subtract each of the elements from one another, we end up with 3 take away 0 is 3, 9 take away 4 is 5, 
12 minus minus 1 is 13 and then 6 minus 3 is 3 3 minus 2 is 1 and 15 minus minus 5 is 20. Okay so 3c minus d. Now for the last one part 4 we've got to work out what a plus c is. a is the matrix 3 4 1 2 and c is the matrix 1 3 4 2 1 5. Now with something like this we can't do it. We can't do it because the dimension of this matrix 2 by 2 is different from the dimension of this matrix 2 by 3. So for this one it isn't possible so I'll just put here not possible. Okay well I hope that's given you an idea then how we add subtract or multiply any matrix by a scalar. And that brings us now to the end of this particular tutorial.